Diego Pavia. He has now a win over Auburn at Auburn while he was at New Mexico State and has beaten number one Alabama while at Vanderbilt. George is this kid for real. Yes, he's for real in terms of a competitor. He is for real in terms of having them, you know, them big balls and them types of onions that it takes. But you got to go back to how Diego Pavia was, was made. Because he went to high school in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And there ain't a lot of big time players that come out of New Mexico. The one I can really think of off the top of my head is Brian Erlacher. And then you got Diego Pavia, who tore it up at New Mexico Military Institute, which is a JUCO in Roswell. And then they won their first NJCAA championship in 2001 with Pavia at quarterback. And then he turned that and parlayed that into a scholarship at New Mexico State under Jerry Kill. And then about halfway through that 2022 season, they just let him loose and let him do his thing. They let him cook. And the team finished on a five and one run. And then in 2023, Pavia led the team to a, their first 10 win season since 1960. And that included that Auburn game where Auburn paid New Mexico State $1.9 million to beat them. Now, at that point, you would think, okay, that Diego Pavia would never actually have to pay for a drink in Tuscaloosa because he beat Auburn for the rest of his life. But not no more, though. <laughs> They're going to make him pay double. They're going to have to, they going to need to go in witness protection. And the kid ended up in Vanderbilt out of the transfer portal after Jerry Kill and Tom and Tim Beck took assistant coaching jobs in Nashville under Clark Lee over there at Vanderbilt. And then that's when Aria Gerson at the Tennessean, he wrote just about how Diego Pavia was different. Now, he's a competitor. You can just look in his face, look in his eyes, and he don't have that quarterback face thing going on because this dude was a high school wrestler. And how many quarterbacks actually wrestle? And the dude's mom is a savage too. She refused to talk to him after losses in youth football to teach him to hate losing. <laughs> Bro, mom was in on the gig too. And this is the same dude that body slammed an opponent against Auburn and got a penalty because he threw an interception on a free play when Auburn was offsides. And then his quote was actually hilarious he said once i step on the field i'm gonna dominate in every single way i'm gonna be the best player on the field every time i step on the field and i absolutely love it i love it and i believe that he's already cemented himself as a legend in commodore's history but they're three wins away from being bowl eligible for the first time in 2018 and if he does that combined with the number one defeating the number one team in Alabama, not just any number one team, but Alabama, bro, the dude is a legend for life.